In this video, we are going to see how we can deal with the purchase of any kind of fixed asset in Odoo. So here the transaction is of 3rd of January and it says purchase furniture by giving cash and the amount is 10,000. Now just notice that this is the first entry in the day to day transactions. In the previous videos, we have just implemented the system. That means we have transferred all the closing balances of chart of accounts of customers, vendors and inventory as opening balances so that we can start working on this software onwards. So now the system is fully implemented. We have all the opening balances along with the receivables, payables and inventory amount. And now we can work on the day to day operations. So here is the first entry. Now it's very simple to enter it in Odoo. Just go to the accounting tab and we simply need to pass a journal entry here. Just go to the accounting and click on journal entries. Click on new from the top left. And we will mention any reference number here, but you can keep it blank as well because this is already a reference here as well. So the transaction date, let's make it 3rd of January miscellaneous operations. I'll keep it as it is. Add a line. It should be a furniture debit and cash credit. So add a line. I think we don't have the furniture. Let's click on search more. In the fixed asset category, no, we don't have it. So before the fixed asset was created as 171,000 and 171,100 for the accumulated deposition. So let's create it for 181,000. Click on new. Let's write furniture here. It's 181,000. You can define any type like fixed asset, click save. And it's not applicable to a specific partner. We will just copy and paste this as label. Debit amount is 10,000. 10,000 on the debit side. And let's add a line. Cash is credit, so cash in hand. Label, I'll just copy and paste the same. And this is the complete entry. Click on save manually. And after that, what you can do is just go to the configuration tab and click on chart of accounts in order to make sure that the fixed asset is showing it in the total value. So next to furniture, we have the view tab or view option right here. Just click on view. So after completion of this entry, let's click on post. And now let's go to the configuration tab and click on chart of accounts. If we scroll down, we have the furniture right here and next to it is view. So click on view. Just make sure that the balance is shown right here. Now guys, you might be thinking that there might be a fixed asset register or fixed asset area to record the fixed assets so we can charge the future depreciation automatically. The Odoo comes with all of these amazing features, but just remember the initial value when the asset is purchased should be always a journal entry. And in future, if you want to charge the depreciation automatically and define the schedule and you can define an asset here as well. So to define the asset now and build the future depreciation schedule, what we can do is just go to the accounting tab and click on assets. And here we just click on the left hand corner where it says new assets. Let's book the asset as furniture. Under the asset category, we have the asset value, which is the original value 10,000. Acquisition date was 3rd of January. Let's select 3rd January here. Asset model, you can define any kind of asset model and asset group. Let's say it belongs to furniture and fixtures. You can define such group by just creating a name here. And we have the depreciation method. One is straight line. Straight line simply means that if the depreciation is charged every single year, it's of a fixed value of $1,000, let's say. So every year, the depreciation is charged at $1,000. So let's make it straight line here. Duration should be five years. And computation date is no prorata so that it can smoothly charge the depreciation every single year. Or we can charge it to constant periods. But in that case, we need to define what is the prorata date. Now prorata date means that if the asset acquisition date is different 
and you start using the asset on some other date, let's say after six months. So then the depreciation should be charged after six months. So in that case, the date should be different. But in our case, the acquisition date and the usage date is same. So we can keep both of them to same. The book value is already defined. And under the fixed asset, the furniture account is already defined. We have created a new ledger for 181,000 uh, under fixed asset for accumulated depreciation of furniture and expense account. We have created it in 635,000 as a depreciation. So you can create all of these accounts and then attach it here. And after that, just click on compute depreciation and it will show you a depreciation board option here. And you can see every single month, the depreciation is straightly charged here, but for the first year, it's different. And for the last year, it's different. That's because the constant period is causing some problem. Let's compute the depreciation again by just putting it on no pro rata. And now we can see every single year, the depreciation is charged on a straight line basis. If you want to see this journal entry effect in the debit and credit form, just click on the posted entries, even though if you see it as zero, just go in here. And if you click on any particular entry, you should be able to see the depreciation here. So when the time comes, it should automatically post it in ledgers right now it's draft. So that's the benefit of recording it as a fixed asset register. Also, it will reduce the asset value over time. So that's how you can deal with the purchase of fixed asset in Odoo. Just try this by yourself and I'll see you in the next one.